Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today we'll be going through some updates that have been made to the new Manjaro 19 Kyra, specifically the GNOME desktop here. We'll spend a little time going through the desktop and just looking at some of the updated desktop environment items since that's what was mainly focused on in this latest release. If you're new and stopping by to watch an update today, please take a moment to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more videos. So what I got in front of me here is the desktop for the new Manjaro 19 Cairo. And then what I also have for a little bit of comparison here is the Manjaro 18 install as well. So here's the Manjaro 18 install. As you can tell here in the 19, we have a little bit of a different layout. If we look on the left hand side, you can see that the dock is more centered in the vertical and all the icons are centered to the middle left of the screen. So that's a little bit of a change. And as far as the top bar goes, let's see if we take a look at 18 first. So in 18 here, you have your menu. So you can go ahead and click that and get all your software shortcuts as well as uh, categories. Towards the middle, you have the time and date as well as the calendar. And on the right hand side, you have notifications uh, as far as updates available from the package manager and uh, to enable caffeine and use caffeine as well as the login logout feature go to settings as well as wired connection settings on the bottom left hand side you can see show applications where you get all your applications and then like we mentioned here a little bit of a difference but uh, we have uh, firefox or file manager a text editor terminal and a few other things here. So if we go over to the 19 screen, now like I was saying earlier, you have everything centered in the vertical here. So all your applications appear centered to the screen and uh, show applications is now right here and instead of being towards the bottom like we saw. You can open up to see all your applications as well as close it from here now. And then of course you have your default web browser, Firefox, again, kind of the same layout, very similar to what we saw in 18. Up at the left hand corner, we have activities, which you can go ahead and search through your system. Still the uh, middle seems unchanged, really. You can still get to the calendar as well as uh, what time it is and look at notifications on the left hand side. On the right hand side, you still have caffeine available and, and you also have the uh, notifications and updates from the uh, package manager on the far right hand side of course you have uh, your exact same layout for login logout power up power down as well as volume control your wireless or wired connection settings um, everything seems uh, right about the same there what is new to uh, manjaro 19 kyra if we go to show applications and we search for something called layouts this is something brand new here. Uh, layouts gives you the availability to go ahead and switch between six different layouts here. We have the Manjaro, the traditional, uh, which looks mostly like a Windows based system. You can see kind of how the layouts are different here. Uh, you have the Unity as well as Modern, which resembles Mac OS if you've ever used it. You have a dock towards the bottom and a taskbar at the top, whereas with the traditional you have the taskbar at the bottom as well as the start menu uh, here that you can click and it kind of shows you that it shows up. You have the default GNOME desktop, which is a little different than how they have it set up right here. And then finally, uh, the Mate version. So let's go ahead and go through these real quick just to check them all out. So right now we are in Manjaro, so I'm going to go ahead and switch to the traditional layout. Now if I hit apply, I believe things will change up for me, and they did. Um, you may have to reload the desktop to get all the features, but for now apply is uh, good enough for me. As we can see, all of a sudden I do get icons in the background for my desktop. And on the bottom left hand corner, all my applications have uh, gone to there. I don't have a start menu, it seems like, down here, um, which is strange because I think it kind of shows it here. So what I'm going to do is actually reload the desktop just to make sure we get the full-fledged effect here. Give it a moment. And now you can see, in fact, it does have the start menu, and I had to reload the desktop in order to get it. And if I click on 
the start menu, we can go through um, our subcategories as well as uh, quick finds and uh, all programs here. It really resembles Microsoft Windows. So this is a actually a pretty nice tool to have because you can go between all the different types of layouts and choose the one that you like the most and that you're most used to. So for newcomers, I think this is a great tool. Um, not necessarily for me, I just go to with whatever default comes with the distribution. I think that's just the easiest thing to do. Get kind of used to it, whatever, whatever they suggest is usually fine by me. But for people who like switching, this is a great thing. Um, and then if we go ahead and close out of here, again, you can see the applications at the bottom here that are either your favorites or currently open as I have the layout switcher open. On the right hand side, we've just moved everything from the top here down to the right. I'm not gonna repeat what all that is. You can click this little button just to show the desktop, uh, much like you can in Windows. And that's pretty much it for this uh, traditional layout. So let's go to Unity now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply, see what we kind of get here. And it looks like for the most part it did switch. I'm gonna reload the desktop just to make sure I got the full effect. I don't wanna miss anything. So um, as you can see up here, whatever windows you currently have open, the GNOME layout switcher, we can see that uh, that's currently opened up. And then on the left hand side up top, you have a different start menu. So you can actually launch this and, and they call it the arc menu. You can go through and um, and see how this looks quite a bit different here. Uh, different location as well as just an overall different look. Uh, you have a few options here towards the bottom. It seems like to go to your downloads folder, the uh, package manager, maybe a file manager, um, and then to log out, uh, shut down the computer, and just some shortcuts as well as favorite or pinned apps. You can always search. And then on the right hand side, I believe it gives you some more subcategories. So that's pretty much the biggest change. We got the date over here instead of in the middle and on the far right hand side we got the general stuff that we had before. It looks like caffeine and notifications switched a little bit but for the most part the same. It kind of actually resembles 18 a little bit of course without the uh, icons on the background. If we go back to that I think uh, we'll be able to see it real quick. So let's go back real quick. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty similar, but I think the GNOME one, of course, is going to be the closest since this uh, 18 ran with the standard GNOME desktop environment. So going back to 19, let's continue on our journey here and go to modern. And if anything, I'd probably choose this one because I do, I am a little partial to the Mac OS environment and I do like how they have the dock here in the middle and it looks pretty good. Let me just re reload the desktop real quick. So it's restarting GNOME now. And everything looks about the same. Just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. Let me minimize this. And uh, going to the left-hand side, uh, everything remained the same from that last one we looked at, which was uh, the Unity one. Uh, on the left-hand side, we still have what we're currently on, or what's currently open. So the de GNOME desktop, that's where we're at. And then on the left-hand side, we do get to put our icons. I'm kind of surprised they didn't uh, throw these on this other side. Um, and this is also nice because you don't necessarily get to keep icons or even move them around on some GNOME desktops. So I like the fact that they um, allow you to do that. But what, what I was trying to say is uh, usually the icons on Mac OS uh, show up on the right hand side of the screen. So if we wanted to make it look just a little bit uh, closer to Mac OS, I would have lined these icons up on the on the right hand side of the screen. But pretty great nonetheless, not to take anything away from it, just uh, something I noticed. And on the bottom you can see the various applications that we have available or shortcuts. Of course you can change these in and out and then you can show all the applications that we have and of course close out of them. So that's pretty much it for the modern layout. We'll go to the standard GNOME. And uh, this time, let me see if I can just reload the desktop without hitting apply. And it did not change, so let me hit apply. All right, now that I've applied the GNOME desktop, what we have is our icons here on the left still. And showing up on the background, if you hit activities, 
Then you get your dock and it's a lot bigger as you can tell here. And then on the right hand side, I believe you can switch between workspaces and search for more applications if you hit show applications or just simply start searching for them. I'm gonna go back to the layouts where I think most people are familiar with the regular GNOME desktop environment. So I'm just gonna move on from that one and finally go to the Mate desktop environment here. So I'm gonna reload the desktop once more and let's take another quick look. So up top we have places, which takes us to shortcuts like home, documents, downloads, whatever, applications, which takes us to subcategories, and then our little shortcuts to programs that come standard or we use a lot that you can pin up here if you want. And then on the right hand side, things remain pretty much the same, the notifications, caffeine, uh, the current date, and all that fun stuff. At the bottom left, now we have an icon that allows us to see what applications we currently have running. And we can go ahead and minimize, maximize those applications or have more than one application, as well as change workspaces on the very far bottom right. One other thing I see here in Layout Switcher, which is new to this Manjaro 19 Cairo. If you made it this far, please take a moment to like this video. It really does help me out. We also have the automatic dark theme. So as you can see right now, in the background, we have this white background with our window. And then if we go over to the settings screen, this is new with the layout switcher as well, we can actually change the automatic dark theme to come on. And what is that gonna do? It's just gonna change the color of this background in your windows. Uh, so let's just open up a folder here like Manjaro. And uh, depending, I believe, depending on the time of the day, will automatically change the colors here in the background. Uh, so let me just turn on automatic dark theme. And sure enough, it did change the color in the background of these windows. Now, if we change the time, maybe we can get uh, the background to change here. So, so let me see real quick. First, I'm gonna change the layout back to something that I uh, enjoy using. So the Manjaro is perfect for me. So I'm just gonna apply that and uh, hit the reload desktop. It's gonna restart GNOME for me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just search the applications for... All right, now that I'm in the date and time, I'm gonna go ahead and switch uh, the time in order to see if the backgrounds in these windows change since I have the automatic dark mode set. Uh, so automatic date time, I'm gonna have to turn that off. Never mind, that's already been off. <laughs> I'm gonna go turn that back off and change, uh, let's see, the time zone might help. So right now we, let's see if we go like this. If we're in Russia, that's 138, so it should be day. Let's see if that changes anything. And 1338, it says it did, but here we go, all right. So you can see as the time changes here, it did change what it looks like in these windows, which is great. As the day is changing up, we'll get updates. I believe the background is supposed to change as well. I'm not sure if I noticed the change in the background. Um, let me try a different way, actually. If I do time date CTL, and I just set the time to, well, let's say it's morning. So uh, maybe oh, 10, so 10 a.m. maybe. Nope, that's not how you do it. So let me see what else. How do we do this? Help maybe. All right, commands, status, set time. All right, that's what I'm missing. So let's do a set time and the time. And it says now it's 10 a.m. and nothing seems to have changed in the background. Uh, maybe I have it messed up, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to change. Let me try this again. Well, it looks like it has a little bit of time to it, but uh, it says it's uh, 1.40 again, so it must have updated my time once more, and that could potentially be my problem. But for now, I'm not gonna really harp on it too much. Let me just try a different time, set time. Well, let's go an hour earlier, 9 a.m. in the morning, nothing. I do see the change, but it goes right back to 13.40, so I'm afraid it's, it's probably changing. I'm gonna try one more thing real quick. If I just type in time, and the time, both are off. Let's see the time zone. 
Let me try something a little earlier. 941, why not? Let's try that. And I still don't really see a change in the background. At least I didn't notice one. So some other updates that they've uh, also done is, of course, they've changed a new theme uh, and it's called Makta. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but they've also claimed that uh, you can simply now drag an application icon on top of another in order to create a folder. I haven't been able to get that to work quite yet, so I'm not sure what's going on or what I'm missing with that one. Of course, we already went through the GNOME layout switcher, which does allow you to go ahead and change that desktop around. I think that's a great thing that they've done. And uh, we also have the availability to use the automatic dark theme, which we also looked at. And they also say they have a new theme for the login screen, which we'll take a look at in just a moment to see what the difference is between 18 and 19. And uh, kernel 5.4 long-term support is being used for this release. They've also made updates to their KDE Plasma desktop environment, as well as XFCE which is their default environment. Let me know if you want me to go ahead and walk through some of those as well. Go ahead and post a comment below if you want me to uh, check out those as well and do a similar kind of a video on it. Uh, I'll be glad to. And uh, PA Mac 9.3 has received a few updates according to their website. So like I said, let's just check out their login. So if, uh, let's see, if I log out, I'm here in the live uh, disk anyway, so um, I believe I know the password. So if I log out, log out of Manjaro here, give it a moment here, all right. And then let me also log out of the other screen. So if I log out of this one, let's see, let me first get back in the desktop, timed out there. Um, and if I hit here, log out, give it a moment, all right. If I click on Manjaro, We'll kind of see what the login screen looks like here. And if I also do that with 19 here, for me, they look pretty much the same. So it has uh, GNOME, GNOME Classic to choose from here. In the 19 version, um, everything looks the same up top, the time and everything. Um, just a dark, darker theme, really. So I don't see too much change there. Um, and then if we go to 18, kind of similar things going on. I don't necessarily see what they're talking about uh, with the login, and maybe I'm looking in the wrong spot. But let me just type in Monjaro. I think that's the login. Let's log back into 18 real quick. And as far as I can tell, it's very similar. Let me just lock myself out real quick and see if this is any different. Maybe this is what they were talking about. And then I'll do the same here. Log in with Monjaro 19 just to see if there's anything changed here. And I really can't tell the difference. But uh, in the top right, I will just do this real quick. And for the most part, everything seems the same here besides my time and the background. Log in once more, and that's pretty much it. We've talked about all the updates. We kind of went through the desktop environment here and some of the changes that they've made. I hope you enjoyed walking through this update with me of Manjaro Linux Kyra. That's version 19. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them below in the comments section. Also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.